Well, this first video is about teaching healers a static position. Now, you teach healers a static position, or I do anyway, for the simple reason that it's easier for the dog to grasp the concept of having to be next to heel while it's not moving. Now, what you do with this, um, this method of teaching heel is basically you're teaching the dog that heel is, is simply a method of getting from one sit or standing um, static position to the next. So once you've taught the dog um, through the, all three phases of, of heel, you can walk the dog for miles and miles and miles and its healing is merely to get from one position of set to the next. So you could be go, walk from, from here to the shop and say heel once. So the dog knows that it started off from set and it's going to go to its next set and then it's going to sit down next to you. Now, Another advantage of teaching it this way is, is you're automatically teaching the dog that um, when you stop, it should sit next to you, which gets rid of things like stopping and the dog heading off in another direction or going off to a distraction or shooting under a car or anything like that. Now, I always teach my dogs to heal off leash first. There's a number of reasons for that. One being, if you teach them on a leash and they start pulling all over the place, they're going to hurt their necks. Um, the other reason is because if you can teach a dog to heal uh, off leash, then when you put the leash on, it is no real need for the leash if you get me. It's like the leash is just there as a safety precaution because the dog's already learned that heel means to stick by your, your left heel. Um, and that's about it, basically. Um, uh, the video's next. You can watch it. I babble quite a bit further on it. And um, if I realise that I haven't put... Uh, every point and then I'll, I'll put some text underneath, okay? Right, now we're going to learn heel as a static position. And what you need, you need a puppy, like this one. Say hello, hello. And you need some sweeties. Now, I'll just demonstrate it first. Luna, Luna, what's this? Luna, come here, come on. Heel. Good girl. Ready, Luna? 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 Heel. Come back. Heel. Good girl. Ready? Heel. Good girl. Luna? Ready? Heel. Now the whole point of teaching heel is, 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 is a static Luna. position, first of all, Luna. is so that the dog realises that the best place to be is by your heel. Now what you're doing is you're teaching the dog that heel is actually 
a dynamic stay so you want it to stay in a position whether you're moving or not so by teaching it this way the dog is just thinking of heel as a as a means um, to get from one static position to the next this means that the dog will always associate heel with being by uh, your left ankle or wherever you want the dog to be it could be slightly in front slightly behind um, people like to heal dogs in different positions personally with dogs like Luna that yeah. are, are not a working dog just a, a pet dog yeah. then just just behind the, the left ankle is the place to teach your dog yeah. to heal yeah. now we'll just watch Kat <coughs> for a while I mean Luna's done this once before but as you can see teaching heal as a static yeah. position is a very easily controllable yeah. uh, technique yeah. because yeah. The, the <laughs> you saw there look she's really getting the idea that heel is is only to get from one sitting position to the next so once the dog knows this and understands the concept of heel you can walk very long distances with the dog um, just moving between sets now Kathy is reinforcing it every single time here but what you have to do eventually is is reinforce with treats at, at random points because if you continue reinforcing at uh, every uh, successful um, heel yep. then the dog will come to expect the treats and when it's not getting the treats it will basically give up but that's like a, a, a this is a phase one um, exercise where the dog is just learning what's expected of it in phase two yep. and three you, you'll put in distractions like you'll do it outside um, with noises and stuff going on and then finally with um, yeah. with a correction which will um, yeah. teach the dog its its responsibility for uh, having to carry out the action and, and that's that's how you completely phase out the um, the uh, the treats basically so as you can see Luna's doing very well there um, she is a particularly clever puppy and um, staffs generally are like but uh, we'll just watch them do it for a bit and then uh, say ta-ta. Oh, cool. She's really getting that now. Try turning her without giving her a treat. Come all the way back to the camera, Good girl. There we are. So we're going to give Luna the rest of the dinner now. Try it out with your puppy. Bye. <laughs>